Wow, talk about making a statement. Here in Paris this week, Huawei announced a new smartphone. And I've got to tell you, they've come to impress. From this grand palace of a launch venue, eye-catching new finish, and not one, not two, but three rear cameras. Huawei has pulled out all the stops. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. This is our Huawei P20 and P20 Pro hands-on. Okay, let's get straight to it. These are the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro, Huawei's new top-of-the-line smartphones. They now look more premium with glossy glass backs with gentle curves that make them feel better in the hands. They come in a range of color options. The most eye-catching, and my favorite, is this one called Twilight Purple, which we'll show more of in our unboxing video. You'll find these phones sport the new trend of taller but narrower displays. The screen on the P20 is pretty much edge to edge, and yes, there's a notch up top. Just enough space for an earpiece and a selfie camera. I personally don't find it bothersome, but if the notch is not your thing, you have the option to fill the space around it with a black background, giving your P20 a more traditional look. There's a bit of chin below, enough space for a fingerprint sensor. I know the positioning of the fingerprint sensor boils down to personal preference. Some like it in front, some on the back. I personally like this better, even if it ruins the all-screen illusion. The phone comes in two sizes. The P20 has a 5.8-inch display, while it's 6.1 inches on the P20 Pro. LCD versus OLED display, 4 gigabytes versus 6 gigabytes of memory, and splash resistance versus water resistance. The Pro model is definitely the better choice of the two. Its OLED display is top notch, no pun intended. Being able to rinse your phone or get it wet in the rain is always a plus, and its battery capacity is the same as last year's Mate 10 Pro. Which means you should be getting about a day and a half of battery life. Speaking of battery life, even if the phone now comes with a glass back, it still does not support wireless charging. Huawei says wireless charging speeds are still not fast enough to justify this feature. With its wired supercharged feature though, you can go from 0 to 58% in 30 minutes. And because you folks ask all the time, there is no headphone jack on both models. Both have dual nano SIM card slots, but there is no micro SD card slot in case you want more storage. Not that you'll need it though. The phone comes with 128 gigabytes of onboard storage, which should be sufficient for most users. Now with the basics out of the way, we can now move on to the more exciting stuff. Ever since Huawei announced its partnership with Leica, they have been known for making great smartphone cameras. And this year, they're pushing the boundaries even further. Improvements are plenty. Just like the P10, the P20 has dual Leica cameras. One shoots in color and the other monochrome. This year, Huawei made it its priority to create a camera that can shoot even better photos in the dark. Instead of putting a faster lens with a higher aperture, Huawei decided to go another route increasing the size of its image sensor. We've spoken about this in previous videos, about how larger sensors are sometimes overlooked, but very important in photography. On top of that, they've increased ISO to 104,200, which is the highest on a smartphone today. A laser focus system, 4D predictive focus that allows the camera to focus based on motion prediction, and a color temperature sensor for better, more accurate colors. Now, if you get the P20 Pro, that's where it gets really exciting. The P20 Pro comes with three rear cameras. The first is an 8 megapixel telephoto lens that has 3 times optical zoom and 5 times hyper zoom. Underneath the zoom lens is a camera with a 40 megapixel sensor. Yep, you heard me right, 40 megapixels. Not since the days of the Nokia PureView 808 and the Lumia 1020 have we seen a phone with so many megapixels. The third camera features a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor. Of course, all of this means nothing unless the phone can take amazing photos. And we're told that on launch day, DxO Mark will announce that the P20 Pro has scored its highest mobile camera score ever. 
we're not done yet. There are still other camera features to talk about. One of them, Huawei says, solves an age-old problem in photography, taking long exposure shots without a tripod. This is the Sony a7S, one of the best low-light cameras in the world. Cost, $2,500. Here's a shot we took using this camera. Handheld, exposure set to four seconds. Now, this is the part where we insert a bit of a disclaimer. There's so much that we wanted to be able to tell you and show you. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time with the device. Thankfully, some of our YouTuber friends came to the rescue. A special shout out to Mr. Who's DeVos, the Unlocker, and the Tech Chap for sending in some video. Huawei says its Artificial Intelligence Stabilization, or AIS, is so good that it can stabilize handheld shots, even those set to four seconds. Last year, Huawei introduced new AI functionality that detected objects and scenes and changed settings accordingly. This year, they've added six more, group, natural colors, stage, blue sky, macro, and fireworks. On top of this, Huawei is also pushing something called AI-powered master photography. Think of it as the right photography skills for the right moment. Not to be outdone by its competitors, Huawei is also giving the P20 the ability to shoot super slow-mo 960 frames per second video. Here's one shot by my good friend David Kogan, the Unlocker. And last but not least, Huawei is giving the P20 and P20 Pro a 24 megapixel front camera, so your selfie game is always on point. Last year, we named the Huawei Mate 10 Pro as the best selfie smartphone of the year. Having said that, we think the P20 and P20 Pro are even better at taking selfies. So, are the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro your gadget match? You know what I'm going to say. Wait for our review, and I promise you that is coming really soon. But I'll tell you this now, where both phones are concerned, Huawei has managed to deliver on all fronts. They both look exciting and are packed with all the right features. Barring any crazy twist, knock on wood, these phones are looking to be the phones to beat in 2018. And that was our Huawei P20 hands-on. For more videos like this one, including our review video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, from here in front of the Grand Palais in Paris, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.